Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to our channel. Again, I'm Eduardo Golpan and in today's video guys, I'm going to show you on how to apply the cascading combo box in the continuous form of Microsoft Access. By the way, I created this video because one of my viewers asked me how to do this. And to give you an example, let me show you this one guys. Employee list. So I have here the employee name, province, and the city. So sample, do 30. Do 30 lives in Cebu province. And then the cities belongs to Cebu or Bugo, Karkar until the Toledo. I'll choose this one, Mandawi. So another sample, Marcos. Marcos lives in Batangas. And then the cities belongs to Batangas are Batangas City, Calaca, Lipa until the Tanawan. So how to do this? If you are still interested, please watch this video until the end and please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. First guys, I have to show you the list of cities and provinces right in the Philippines. This is my table and I got this data from the internet. I downloaded and then transferred her in Microsoft Access. So this is the structure. So close this. Now let us create a new structure or new table of the employee. So go to create menu, then go to table design. So employee ID. This auto number, then employee name, then province, then city, and in the field size, by the way guys, the default value, default character of my uh, Microsoft Access in this computer is 52, but it's up to you guys. You can set also. And then for the employee name, we can change this to sample 35 characters. Province, I don't think so. It's too much. 30. And then the city, 30 also. And then for the province, so this is a normal text box. So we will create this a drop down or a combo box and then the source or the data so click these three dots then go to the less cities and then bring down the province and then let us try to check guys so there are lots of records consist of 148 records but as you can see guys uh, there are lots of duplicate values the reason of this is it shows all the records from those tables from the tables of the list of cities and provinces so to eliminate the duplicate values we have to uh, put a one word guys in the sql um, design so let's click this small drop down then select SQ, sql view then select list cities so we will put one word from the select select this tank okay this one select this tank and then let us view so here we go guys from 148 records now we have only 55 and then there's no more uh, duplicate values so close this then yes then let's proceed to the city the city we will make it a combo box also then the row source still the same the data list cities and then here bring down all the fields let's check okay now let's close yes close also yes so sample employee never mind the the wording guys and then let us check for example Eduardo Golfan I live in Cebu and then the the cities belongs to Cebu okay it shows all the records all the cities in the Philippines it's not yet cascading so we will close this guys and then let's proceed the creation of multiple or continuous form 
So select this table and then go to create menu, then go to more forms and then select this multiple items. This is the continuous form. Let me change something. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, okay, form view. Still. Now let's go to the design view, guys. And then click the city. And then row source. Click these three dots. I'll delete this. Okay. Something like this. Now we have to add a criteria, guys, for the province. So that the cities will be filtered according to the province. So to filter, to create a criteria, we will click this code builder. Then click this uh, the name of your file. Then forms, loaded forms, sample employee list. This is the form that we have created. And then click this province. Double click. Now guys, we have the code. So okay. Now close this and click yes. Then click uh, save. Okay. So the cities belongs to Cebu or Bugu, Karkar, until the Toledo. I will select this Mandawi. Now, another sample. Juan de la Cruz. Juan de la Cruz lives in Leti. Okay. And then the cities belongs to Leti. Still. This records, guys, or this drop down is incorrect because it refers to the Cebu province. So, meaning to say it doesn't refresh, automatically refresh. So, to refresh this, guys, we have to add a one line code. This is a very simple code, guys, don't need to memorize. So, once we update this one, this uh, file, the city will also be refreshed. Okay, or even we focus this one, it will automatically refresh. So click this and then click event and then go to on got focus. Okay, on got focus, click this three dots, go to code builder and okay. So now click me dot, me means the current form. So me dot city dot requery, not refresh but requery. So, close, then save. Let's try. So, Liti. Okay, bye-bye, Ormok, Takloban. I'll select Ormok. Then, another sample. Maria. Maria lives in Kabiti. And then, the cities belongs to Kabiti are Bacoor, Kabiti City, Das Marinas, General Trias. Okay, Tracy Maritis, Tris Marte, Martiris, I don't know, Martires, Martiris, okay. So uh, I'll select this one, Baco or And another sample, Mario. Mario lives in Iloilo, and in the settings belongs to Iloilo or Iloilo City and Pase. So that's it. If this video helps you a lot, please click like. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. That's all. Thank you and see you to my next video.